Have you ever wondered what happens when a baby takes their first breath? How do a newborn's lungs work? This story actually starts in the womb. Did you know that during this time, your baby's lungs are not used for breathing? While in the womb, your baby's lungs are filled with fluid and the blood vessels running through them are tight, making it harder for blood to flow through the lungs. In mum, these same blood vessels are relaxed, allowing blood to flow through. Oxygen is essential to life and is needed throughout our body to make energy. In mum's lungs, the blood picks up oxygen from the air. The blood then carries the oxygen from mum to the baby through the placenta. This provides the baby with the oxygen he needs, as the baby's lungs are not yet ready to do this job. When your baby is born and takes their first breath, the lungs open and the blood vessels going through the lungs widen. Blood flows through the lungs, making oxygen-rich blood for the baby. It can take up to 10 seconds for your baby to take their first breath. And it can take up to 10 minutes for that healthy baby colour to appear. Some babies can have difficulty with this change to breathing on their own in the outside world. When this happens, the blood vessels remain tight, making it difficult for blood to flow through the lungs. In this situation, the lungs are not able to generate the oxygen-rich blood needed. This is a condition which doctors call persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn. We don't always know why this happens, but there are a number of ways to treat it. Oxygen, given with the help of a ventilator, can provide the extra support needed for the baby to start breathing on their own. For some babies, oxygen may not be enough and an additional treatment called nitric oxide may be needed. Nitric oxide works by relaxing those tight blood vessels in the lungs. This allows more blood to flow through and pick up oxygen from the air. However, 4 out of 10 babies don't fully respond to nitric oxide and need more help to get better. This is why research is needed to find additional ways to help treat these patients. Research is a very important part of improving the care of mothers and babies around the world. There are teams of doctors, nurses, research scientists and patients working hard to develop additional ways to help babies with persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn. To learn more about Irish research on maternal and newborn health, you can visit the HRB Mother and Baby Clinical Trial Network's website.